Holly and welcome to the proper pineapple. Today I was having kind of a blah kind of day where I just was like ill because it's cold and I don't like being cold and it's cold. So, But the lovely FedEx truck pulled up in front of my house and I got all excited because I knew that meant that my knit crate was here. <laughs> so this is knit crate you guys. Look at the box. Isn't it cute? Love the box. Knit Crate is a monthly subscription box and you get a surprise box of yarn. I absolutely love them. You can get, they send, I have the membership crate which gets two skeins of yarn. It could be fingering, it could be DK, it could be worsted, it could be bulky. They change it every single month. They usually have a couple of different color options so everybody doesn't get the same box which is fun because who wants to watch 15 YouTubers open up the same one, right? No, we want different. That's what we like. Anyways, so this month I believe they had two color choices you could have got. I don't know what they are because I was so busy after Christmas I did not pay attention. But I'm so excited that it came. I love Knit Crate. I love the surprise of getting it every month. It's just so much fun. Um, it usually comes with a little pattern book that usually has a knit and a crochet pattern. So that's always fun. I'm, I'm so super excited. But before we open it, so they have, this is the membership box. They have a sock knit crate they have an artisan box and they have a malabrigo quarterly box which you'd get one every three months which i love malabrigo i'm totally in but each one's different they have something for everybody you should totally go check them out please use the link down below to go check them out and if you use the use the coupon code pineapple 20 all one word all uppercase you will get 20 percent off your order which yay i love getting a discount so all right guys enough shenanigans here let's crack this puppy open so got my box and my teeny little box cutter <laughs> the only thing holding this closed was a teeny piece of tape which you guys self-restraint I, I so wanted to bust it open i don't know what i got i don't know what the two colorways are so i'm gonna look away and look it away and hold it up for the camera hopefully the camera's focusing what color did i get you guys I got brown, <laughs> which is funny because I always say I don't like brown, but I keep getting brown. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. They are, they're very reminiscent of the ones that they gave out in November. Was it November? I think it was November. Yes, it was November, but it doesn't have the glitter. So pretty. It's um, it's the Vitalana, which by Knit Crate, which is their in-house brand. Uh, it's the colorway whiskey, which I can totally see whiskey. I get that. It is 100% Peruvian Highland wool. Uh, it's a worsted weight at 201 yards for per 100 grams. Let me hold this up for you guys to get a little looky loodle. I do enjoy a good tonal, and I would call this a really good brown tonal. It goes from this light, light, light to a dark, kind of chocolatey brown. Now, you guys, I, I still have not changed my mind. I am not a brown person. But Mr. Pineapple would totally wear a hat like this. Wouldn't you, Mr. Pineapple? Mm -hmm. He said, mm-hmm, in case you didn't hear him. Man of very few words. <laughs> so here is the little book that came with it. So cute. It's got a bunch of patterns in it. Um, Let's see... Flippity flip flip flip. Oh, here we go. Here are the two cuddlers you could have got. You could have gotten the whiskey or a Dawn blush. Let me put that up there. Hopefully it'll focus. See, okay, there we go. Like a pinky color, which is also very reminiscent of the pink that they gave out in October. So it's all good though. Who doesn't love a good pink? So I am not at all disappointed that I got brown because you know what? We as knitters and crocheters need to step out of our comfort zone on occasion and this will come in handy. If not for Mr. Pineapple, I'm sure somebody in my life would love brown. My mother loves brown. I should totally make her something out of this. Mom, if you're watching, look away. But <laughs> anyways, you know, this I'm feeling it. It's really soft, but it's also kind of what I would call sticky wool, which if you guys knit or crochet color work, you'll understand that. Sometimes when you use softer like um, like a Karen Simply Soft or something with silk or cashmere, it won't hold its shape. Like if you're gonna do like a color work yoke on a sweater, you want you want what they call sticky wool, wool that will grip and hold to it so it stays its shape and keeps looking beautiful. 
I would definitely describe this that way, but it's still really soft. It's not like irritatingly rough or anything. It's really nice. So I am happy with my brown yarn. <laughs> I am. I'm excited to step out of my comfort zone, try something new. That's the fun of these kind of like unboxings. You don't know what you're going to get and who doesn't love a good surprise, right? And yeah, you might not get your favorite color, but you will get something beautiful and you might end up loving it and doing something super awesome with it, which I got my little, little mouse is running on its wheel. I'm getting there. I love it. I'm definitely going to make something with it. I'm like behind on all my somethings I need to make because I'm super busy right now. But something will be coming of this wonderful knit crate that I love getting. I hope you guys love your knit crates if you get them. If you don't get them, consider checking them out again. If you use my code and my little link, 20% off, try it. If you don't like it, you can always cancel. But knit crate, you guys, so fun. And it made my day to get a package. So I'm going to get out of here. Go deal with the children. Bye, y'all.